Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Shannon Cake. Welcome to the Now South Florida. Macy's is closing. Bar Louie shut down. Is this a sign of things to come in downtown West Palm Beach? There are always business reasons for a store or a restaurant to close, but those who remain say business reasons are the least of their problems. The Now's Alana Quillen joining us live from Clamata Street in downtown West Palm Beach to explain this afternoon. Alana? Shannon, the closures of Bar Louie and Off La Huca here on Clamata Street has ignited conversation among other business owners here. They tell me aggressive homeless people are driving customers away, and they blame the city and police for not doing enough. Russ Griffin of Finer Optics in downtown is one of many fed up business owners. What he's being forced to go through right now is not fair to him, and it's certainly not fair to these people. These people are probably never going to come back to Clamata Street. He's caught countless acts on camera. We've had a guy exposing himself in front of a family eating lunch at Palm Sugar. These are the kinds of things we deal with on a fairly regular basis. Michael Platt, owner of Ultima Fitness, says Bar Louie's closure this week is another reminder of the issues they're facing in downtown. Rents are high. It's difficult as it is to, to do well down here. If people are coming into your restaurant and taking food off the plates of a family and walking away, they're not coming back. He says he and other business owners believe aggressive homelessness could be driving customers away. That it's not illegal to be homeless, but it is illegal to aggressively panhandle. And if you run into an aggressive panhandler, please call the police. Mayor Jerry Muglio knows there's a problem along Clamata Street, but it's a complex issue with no easy answers. Last 12 months alone, we've lost Bar Louie, Shout, Don Ramon's, Fish House, Flynn's, Worlds of Beer, Cabana, Tin Fish, Hamburger Heaven, Grimaldi's. The mayor told me the city is working with local agencies who have boots on the ground. I recently had a meeting with the Mental Health Association asking them if they will send with our two outreach workers a mental health specialist. So we're in the process of working with them to try and make that happen. We need to create environments that are healthy for the homeless people to go to that are not in the middle of the street that is supposed to generate the most tax revenue for the city in all of West Palm Beach. It doesn't even make sense. Now, the mayor did not want to talk about the individual businesses that have closed, but the Downtown Development Authority points to other businesses that continue to do well here, and they hope for the future as well as that high-speed rail station is supposed to be opening up not too far from this spot, and they hope that will bring more customers to downtown as well. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Alana Quillen for the Now South Florida. Alana, thank you. Back here.